adults are using complementary and alternative medicine, CAM. Because of this trend, parents are expanding this use of CAM therapies for their children. One of the most popular CAM therapies is chiropractic care, and naturally parents are concerned about safety and effectiveness. Surveys allow parents to share their thoughts and concerns on an issue. They also allow practitioners to compile data on a larger scale. While some researchers question the objectivity of surveys and do not universally agree that they are valid outcome measures, surveys can be an integral tool in gaining valuable information to direct further research in the area of study. A research study utilizing a survey published in Explore in 2009 showed that with regards to chiropractic care in the pediatric population, treatment-associated complications were not indicated by the chiropractic and parent responders. The research study was conducted by Dr. Joel Alcantara and colleagues, taking information from a practice-based research network, PBRN, with 21 participating DCs. The researchers reported that there were 577 pediatric clinical cases with an average of 9.4 office visits per child. Chiropractic adjustments were provided during 5,438 office visits. The children's ages range from less than a day old to 18 years old, averaging 7.45 years. The children received a variety of different chiropractic techniques. In 46% of cases, the main reason for seeking care was stated to be wellness, with 26% seeking care for musculoskeletal complaints. The remainder reported digestive or elimination problems, neurological problems, immune dysfunction, or other reasons. According to the surveys completed by the DCs, there were three reports of treatment-associated aggravations of symptoms characterized as muscle stiffness, spine soreness, and stiff and sore, but no serious complications. The surveys completed by parents included 239 children and reported two treatment-associated aggravations of symptoms characterized as knee soreness and neck stiffness, but no serious complications. In summary, there were a total of five adverse events in 577 children. According to the authors of the study, the survey results suggest that, in general, chiropractic care for children is extremely safe. Of the 577 cases, 518 were reported to have improved from care. The results also shed light on reasons why parents bring their children in for chiropractic care. The results of the parent survey suggests that the main reason why parents were seeking chiropractic care for their children was for wellness care, and the most common specific complaint was musculoskeletal complaints. There are two main reasons why this research is important. First, it suggests that the primary reasons parents seek chiropractic care for their children is for wellness, and only if they have back pain or some other kind of musculoskeletal complaint. This opens up the possibility for chiropractic to grow in the field of pediatrics. Secondly, the survey results suggest that chiropractic care is safe and effective. This also opens up chiropractic to pediatrics, as parents are more willing to bring their kid into a practitioner if they know that it is safe. The results of both the practitioner surveys and our parent surveys demonstrate a highly perceived effectiveness for pediatric chiropractic care, as well as a high level of safety.